Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Now, before viewing a sequel for review on this show, especially if I haven't seen the preceding films, but also if it's been a long time since I saw the preceding films, I'd like to watch those originals once more beforehand, just to keep everything fresh up here. Now, I personally loved Train Spotting, that film which showcased with eye-popping visual style and warped humor the criminal antics of a bunch of desperate junkies in Scotland when I first saw it in 1996. And I must have seen it perhaps, oh, a dozen or so times between the theatrical release and home video over the years. But I hadn't seen it in, oh, uh, maybe a decade or so, so it was a disappointment to me personally that I wasn't able to fit in a viewing of the original before sitting down to watch T2 Train Spotting, a sequel made and set 20 full years later. I was worried. Would I be able to pick up on changes in the performances or the storytelling style or the characters? Would I remember who was who and what was what and where we all left off? Well, it turns out I needn't to worry because T2 Trainspotting immerses you immediately right back into this world of offbeat and colorful lowlives as if no time has passed at all. Oh, now, plenty of time has passed for the characters, but in terms of the storytelling, the performances, the kinetic visual style, Danny Boyle, writer John Hodge, and the entire returning principal cast all pick up the beat immediately and start dancing to it once again without missing a single step. Now, if you haven't seen the original, by all means, do. It's an indie classic, and it made stars out of Ewan McGregor, Kevin McKidd, Johnny Lee Miller, Robert Carlyle, and its director, Danny Boyle, who would go on to win an Oscar for Slumdog Millionaire, also lending his talents to projects like 127 Hours, Steve Jobs, 28 Days Later, and The Beach. The man is a genius, and now he returns to the world of the film that made the rest of the world sit up and take notice to prove that he hasn't lost any of his edge. 20 years on, T2 just feels like train spotting. These characters are back and they've lost nothing. The effect is instant and prolonged throughout this remarkable film. It's an effect not unlike when Harrison Ford showed up on screen as Han Solo after 32 years away from the character, only more so, and with everybody. Robert Carlyle in particular, purely by virtue of his presence and performance, is still a magnetic and terrifying villain that is to be feared every moment he's on screen. The biggest shock of all is the fact that this movie not only justifies its own existence, something very difficult for a sequel to a 20-year-old film to do, but that it works as a perfect companion piece to the original film. The same thing happened to a lesser degree with Creed a couple of years back. T2 Trainspotting enriches the original, deepens its themes, and provides update, resolution, and catharsis. That film, which ended with Ewan McGregor's Mark Renton pulling off a pretty shocking betrayal of both his best friends and his worst enemy while walking off smiling as the now classic Choose Life speech played over the soundtrack was bittersweet and optimistic. Renton gets a chance to make a new and updated version of that speech in this new film, and once again it's a blistering indictment of society's ills, but it makes the things he railed about before look almost quaint and beautiful by comparison. It's one of a handful of standout scenes in this film, which sees Renton return to Edinburgh 20 years after that betrayal to make amends, uh, kinda. After reconnecting and repairing some of the damage he's done, he soon runs into serious trouble again when Begbie, the aforementioned enemy played by Robert Carlyle, escapes from prison and is bent on revenge. Shenanigans, tomfoolery, copious debauchery, and shocking violence ensue, and it all unfolds with a certain rhythm and pace that belie a certain familiar eh, lust for life. Ghosts from the past are just waiting in the wings to haunt Renton and crew, and T2 features a lot of callbacks. Some literal flashes of characters and incidents from the original film, some more obvious like cameos and musical motifs on the soundtrack. Although those are certainly fun, this film provides, in addition to some tense drama, betrayals and escapes, genuine growth, even closure for some characters, it also has a lot to say about aging, about arrested development, maturity, and passing the torch, about breaking the cycle of bad decisions that can haunt us lest we pass them on to the next generation. T2 Trainspot does all of this, all while telling a story that is fascinating to watch, extraordinarily well acted, surprising, hilarious, and with Danny Boyle working once again at the very top of his game, beautiful to behold. I mean, the way that almost every shot is framed in a visually interesting way, the skillful use of freeze frame and even subtitles for some of the thicker accented characters in the very beginning of the film, which drop off after a few minutes after we've all gotten used to the accents. Look, Danny Boyle hasn't lost any of that prodigious talent in the last 20 years. If anything, he's only gotten better. Extra large bag of popcorn for T2 train spotting. Wow, I really love this film. Despite the unfortunate title, I mean, that abbreviation is already kind of claimed by one of the best sequels of all time, but really that's a gripe for the marketing department. T2 train spotting more than justifies its existence. It's absolutely essential viewing. It's thrilling cinema, and it's certainly one of the best movies of the year so far. 
Go, go out and see it. And, and see the original, if you haven't already, and then get to a theater and brace yourself for one of the year's biggest surprises. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel if you'd like to see more, and support us by clicking subscribe while you're there, and by clicking the thumbs up icon below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on T2 train spotting in the comments as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I'm cleaning up and moving on, getting clean and choosing life.